Now, for more insights, let's cross live to Professor He Wenping in Beijing. Thank you very much for joining us, Professor He. So, as we just reported, Chinese President Xi Jinping and South African President Cyril Ramaphosa have announced the elevation of bilateral ties to an all-round strategic cooperative partnership in the new era. And uh, from open information, we found out that the partnerships established by China are wide-ranging and diverse with more than 20 types. They can be roughly divided into five uh, categories. Now, first, uh, general partnerships include the friendly friendship and a new type cooperative partnership. Partnerships that start with comprehensive or all-round. General strategic partnerships. Strategic partnerships that start with comprehensive, global and all-round. Strategic partnerships that start with all-weather and permanent. Among these partnerships, strategic partnerships are the most common in today's international relations and are also the most numerous type for China. Now, uh, in this context, Professor, uh, being specific on China-South Africa ties and uh, China's overall ties to the continent, what's your reading to the recent elevations? Yes, uh, this is very obviously that China-South Africa, this uh, bilateral relations has been uh, you know, entered into a new level and also highest level. Uh, some uh, South African scholars even used uh, this term saying we are entering into the golden year of uh, our bilateral relationship. You know, during the past uh, 25 years, ever since uh, South Africa already entered into the post uh, this uh, apartheid era, and then uh, the China-Africa uh, relationship, uh, especially with South Africa, now we have been uh, building very strong, not only economic ties, and also uh, culturally and uh, health cooperation and the infrastructure cooperation and the industrialization cooperation, so all round of those cooperation. So that's why now this time around, they enter into all round of this strategic partnership, especially because South Africa uh, is very special. Uh, it's the uh, number one biggest economy in Africa, and also is the very first one in this uh, uh, BRICS uh, this uh, platform. Uh, now recently we added like uh, Egypt and Ethiopia uh, in the BRICS, but South Africa was the very first one representing Africa continent uh, in the BRICS uh, this platform, and also South Africa is the only one uh, in the G20 uh, this uh, bigger uh, platform including those emerging economy and also those traditional industrial countries. You see all those uh, shows, South Africa uh, is, has been playing very unique role, uh, leading, uh, representing Africans' voice uh, in many of those uh, you know, South-South cooperation platform or international platform. Plus, uh, like uh, many international issues nowadays, like uh, we are facing uh, uncertainty uh, in the nation, international setup, uh, like uh, Ukraine, uh, this uh, Russian wars has been there uh, already uh, more than two years long. And then also recent uh, one year also, uh, there's uh, Israel, Hamas, this war. So whenever there is international big issues uh, like uh, showing up, uh, you know, concerns with international peace and security. And then we can hear South Africa while wow, playing its role. You know, they are leading the African, even, uh, you know, uh, the delegation, South Africa President Ramaphosa uh, has led African leaders travel to Russia, to Ukraine, and also put forward a lot of uh, solutions. Well, that was uh, Professor He Wenping in uh, Beijing talking about uh, insight into the recent elevations of China's bilateral ties with many African countries.